Next, an update to a story many of us have been following closely, and now we're learning it was all made up. An Alabama woman admitted to making up the fake kidnapping story is facing criminal charges, but some say she should be facing stiffer penalties. Steve Harrigan has the story. Carly Russell, the 25-year-old nursing student, has been charged with two misdemeanors for giving false reports to police. She could face up to one year in jail for each one. At the press conference, the chief of police of Hoover, Alabama, was visibly angry. He said he would have thrown more charges at her if the law allowed him to do so. Her decisions that night created panic and alarm for the citizens of our city and even across the nation. As the concern grew that a kidnapper was on the loose, using a small child as bait. Russell's attorney says she has admitted the story was entirely false. There was no toddler by the side of the highway. She was never abducted, and she spent the entire 49 hours that she was missing in Hoover, Alabama. The attorney general says the manhunt caused a strain on law enforcement resources. We don't see this as a victimless crime. There are significant hours spent resources expended as a result of this investigation. And not only that, but the many, many women who are civilians that wore those yellow vests on a hot afternoon and evening looking for someone they thought was abducted. So we know the story has been made up entirely. We know she could face up to two years in jail, but still no why yet, why she made up the story in the first place. In Atlanta, Steve Harrigan, Fox News.